Good afternoon, traders. This is Bob Habercorn coming to you from RGO Futures here in Chicago on Monday, December 17th, 2012. Here to talk about gold and silver and what to expect in the upcoming week. Today, uh, Monday, first day of the week, we had a very quiet day so far in trading, especially in the gold futures and in silver right now. Gold is, I think it's up a buck 50 right here, trading just below 1700. You have silver trading below 33, down about 17 cents right now. Keep an eye right now. I mean, it, you have a couple things going on. You have holiday markets coming into play. This does seem to be unusually quiet, though, this early. I know Christmas in, is next week, and uh, the New Year's coming up shortly thereafter, where markets usually start getting a little slower in the midweek. But I think what you see right now going on is something more. It has to do with what's going on with the debt ceiling deal in D.C. to see how that plays out. A lot of traders are, aren't sure what the ramifications are going to be next year on their taxes. Are they going to be paying higher taxes? Is the... You know, top 2% going to be paying higher? Is the middle class going to be higher? Nobody really knows. It doesn't seem like, you know, this thing's probably going to come down to the wire. I do think you're going to see a, a deal hashed out here in the final few days, whether it's good for uh, taxpayers or if it's more kick the can down the road is yet to be seen. From what it sounds like, though, and the, from what I've heard over the weekend, it does sound like th the plan that they have entail would be, I, in my opinion, bullish gold and silver. They're basically looking to extend the debt ceiling through 2013 which has just pushed the problems back a little further. You'll see another trillion dollars plus in debt added to that ceiling if they do do that, which would be in turn, I think, bullish gold and silver. Um, the Fed basically, couple that with what the Fed did last week with the open-ended policy that, we're, that they're showing. They basically showed their hand last week. They're gonna be doing $45 bi uh, billion dollars per month in easing uh, through bond purchases and mortgage-backed securities. So, you know, bullish gold, silver, uh, it's a no-brainer right now with what the Fed's doing. So keep an eye on it. I'm surprised it hasn't made up some sort of move yet, but like I said, it goes back to what we're seeing in Washington and a lot of indecisiveness. Uh, traders not sure what ramifications are going to be. Right now, uh, gold is just shy of 1700 Silver is trading around that 3280 uh, level. So I anticipate into the new year, though, for some big moves here in metals. Uh, I know I've said previously that I anticipated gold to hit 2000 four years in. 1800 scaled back my expectations but uh, I really do firmly believe that given what we're seeing from a fiscal standpoint in the United States uh, or lack of fiscal policy or uh, discipline we see here as well as in Europe right now Europe's gonna be printing uh, like we've never seen before this year it feels like it's a race to the bottom with these currencies right now as well as with uh, Japan. I mean, you will get the back and forth action in currency markets where one will stand out for a week because supposedly everything's fixed. You know, we've seen that out of Europe, you know, for the last year, year and a half now where, you know, the day's been saved, but then little do you know next week, it seems like everything turns over again and is, is bad again. You know, putting band-aids on a gaping flesh wound is what it seems like is going on right now with policymakers at the central banks as well as governments around the world. So, all that coupled with all that, the outlook for next year and with what you're seeing, gold and silver does, I think, you know, it's a very bullish play. To look at the ranges that I'm looking at right now, just specifically in gold, keep an eye right now. We're trading, like I said, below 1700. Keep an eye on 1725 is resistance right now uh, to the top side. Support is right around that 200 day moving average, which would come in around 1670, 71 ish is where support looks to be. Um, right now, so watch those levels. I think to really get a breakout move in either direction, you're gonna need those levels breached. Specifically in the upside, you're gonna need gold probably to trade above 1729. Uh, and then from there, after a sub move above 1729, I think you'd see a move to 1755 fairly quickly. If we do pull back and we do trade below that 200 day moving average, I think you could have to look out for probably a move to the low 1600s. Uh, from 1670, maybe all the way down to about 16 and a quarter. Uh, but a, a sell-off below the 200-day would still, in the longer-term scheme of things, with fundamentally what's going on, would still you know, be by no means is it wiping out or reversing a trend. It'd be something that I think would be very short-lived, shaking out the week longs and uh, looking at uh, you know, an op opportunity to buy uh, down that low. But be careful. Just keep an eye on the 200-day moving edge if you are long. Uh, remember, futures trading does pose significant risk. It's not suitable for all investors. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me. And uh, look forward. Hopefully everybody has a happy holiday and a great new year. And uh, we'll see how this thing turns out in the new year.